be quarter of a mile to it up that way, which will have to walk down that road back. And half right. a mile at the moment to Corporal Grass as well. Haven't we done Gopley? Didn't we do it once before? Gopley. No, that's Gopley Reservoir. Gopley Clough. That's Gopley Clough above Todmorden. Right, and this it's is? Gopel Reservoir, Upper and Lower Gopel. So is it a different area? Yeah. Well, well, it's not too far away, but it's Gopley Clough would be the other side of the moors from this. Would it? Yeah. Right. We're on the outskirts. We're between Hebden Bridge and Burnley. And Gopley, that you were talking about, was between Todmorden and Baycombe. Right. Now I'm way and somewhere oh, over yes. that direction will be Mary's Cafe. Yeah, yeah there's the, you can see the, the green wall of the dam with yeah. the white car I on think it. Just the top, get they're just the top of a. Can't see it here. I think I spoke too soon about the peace and quiet. <laughs> there just seems to be loads of vehicles at the moment. And another. I think it's going to be quite a leisurely walk today. Are you sure? Yeah, well, I mean, there could be some muddy bits, but <laughs> oh, I think now overall tells me. it's going to be a leisurely walk. Well, that's four up to now. sort of cabins here, they're still quite well maintained. I'm not sure, I didn't, didn't just sh even show them on the map, but I think this to do with uh, shoot a bit further around there are some shooting bots, ghost bots, so I have a feeling it's where the shooting part is. Right. Go to. Or did do in the past. Looked after. Is it still in use? Well, it's, it's a modern build. It's not one fallen into decline. It's it does look well, modern. So I think it probably is for shooting parties. I don't know. There's obviously, a little clearing just back there, which is a wonder what they like can shoot, isn't it? But it's the grouse season in August. Oh dear. Yeah. I don't like shooting. I have to admit. And we're getting near to Upper Door. Uh, upper Door, yeah. And further around, yeah. It's an area. Something different for filming and walking. Yeah. We go up that hill now. Oh, so we don't go over the bitch. No, no. Maybe the shell of those rocks on the top. Okay. Let's do it.
hang up then. Uh, I'll believe it when yeah. I see yeah, it. I think there's a, one or two bits you can shelter. You ought to sit on rock. Shelt, oh, shelter, shelter bit. We'll have to sit on the rock. Right. It's just a bit up here. I think it's going to them all over. You do choose some difficult routes. It is for me. Do you want to stop here? Yes, I could do. I think I need a break. There, we want for that. What? That bit of the grass in there. That's the best seat here. Sheep poo. Is it there? Level and soft. There's never been many people up here. Notice the looks like crop circles yeah. upon those hills. It's There's control burning of the heather. The young grouse eat the new shoots of heather. The heather, if you let it grow, it has control, it goes old and long and dead, lots of dead wood. So they burn bits off so it dries right back and it renews itself. But the moors where they don't do that. That's the ones where the heather gets so thick and he hard and dry mm -hmm. that um, there's no breaks. But if it catches fire, the whole moor catches fire. It's much easier to put it out when it's like this. What is it? Granite? Granite or millstone? It's millstone grit. They're not millstones. They're when it's been worked. That's what you carve and make millstones out of. It's millstone grit. That gives it its name because it was used for creating milk. Right. It's unusual to see so many and so big in just this area. It makes you wonder if the geology... No, it, no it's just, a, it's just an, an edge that's been exposed. Where something like um, Duff Stone's a continuous rock edge or Stanage. Stanage and Darby's a constant you know, high cliffs. These have all broken up. It's not exposed much. And, Mm. They just seem an unusual shape, don't they? Well, they would have been, really? you know, cliffs at one time. It's been weathered away, eroded away, rounded. That's the thing about gritstone when you're climbing on it. Not many, I mean, sometimes there's good holes, but most of it you just rely on friction because it's such a, a tough rock. You notice the unusual yeah, if you look shaping at, of the yeah, rocks, isn't it? If you, look at all these, if you look at all these along here, yeah, it's, it's just the way they're weathered. It, it's made up of coarse sun, basically, and it just gradually wears away. But it's yeah. very, very coarse. That's why it was used in Milson. And so in climbing, you can actually... Well, I'd rather you didn't, yeah. to be quite honest. You can actually use... Not very well, that one. Well, no, I think... You, um, you can... You just use... You know, no good big holes, but you can just, it's such good friction, you can, you don't, you don't need to hold on to something, you can just put your hand flat on little, little bits like that, and it, uh, it holds well, you on, yeah. I think we've seen enough demonstrations. I think, yeah. <laughs> I think Better we'll, with proper well, climbing shoes. Yes, and walking yes, I think we yeah. should give that idea a miss, yeah. somehow. I don't know, there's a few I can do. No, here. no, 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 yeah. I think so we, we've got to get back anyway. Can you give it up now? What? Can you give it up, Michael? Well, I'm nearly up.
I think we have a difference of opinion on what's an easy walk and what is a challenging it's walk. It's quite easy, this one. It's a yes, path. but you're more experienced. It's a little, it's a little bit of uphill. Before that is this uh, bit of moorland. We've skirted around the moorland. This is Widdup. Yeah. Yeah. Wind. Yeah, it was very bad up on that uh, top. Waiting patiently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you been there long? A while. <laughs> well, Since I... you were sort of halfway down from the bend where you had your tripod out. Well, I was just chatting to that other yeah. photographer. Oh, no, I mean, uh, before then you were uh, you got oh, here. Oh, right, you were well. still down there when I got here. And I like to experiment. Here. That's it. They're very big, these uh, those, those old ones. I've seen people come up for bouldering, sort of a, a large form of a mattress sort of thing that they bring in, put it at the foot of the rock, and then if they fall off, there's something soft to fall on. Oh, well, that's a, a practice, so trying harder things. Comfort, isn't it? Two or three, and then there's no more rock. The view of the rock is it's a it's a it's a my goodness, that's a big thing, isn't it? Gosh, I've never seen anything like that. You've done bold, bold yeah, you, bouldering. Yeah, bouldering, yeah. Oh, someone else had it there, see? Is that? No, yeah, but it, it wasn't. You, you didn't come out and take things. It was on a wall. You're either climbing and then you finish and you see some board. Oh, let's have a go on that and try something much harder than you could normally do. Or you'd be on a walk, like up to and see some rocks and you'd end up spending half an hour playing around on the rocks before you carried on with your walk. Well, it looks very dangerous. The point is, well, you're not climbing on a rock face, you're just climbing on a boulder, you know, twice your own height or something like that. So you don't fall far. The whole object is to challenge yourself and not, not do the easy ways onto a boulder, look at the impossible ways and try them and see how far up you can get oh, before you, you fall off. Oh, you certainly off. live life on the knife edge. <laughs> 